Welcome back to Every Way Woman. We are so thrilled to have two very special guests in the show. And the tale's been told somebody else's trash may be someone else's treasure. Yes. And we have two stars from Storage Wars, Lauren Dodatson. Pleasure to have Thank you on the you. show today. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for very having us. Yes. Now, Thanks Charlotte, you're happy. a big fan of the show. I you? am. I absolutely love the show. So you guys are doing auctions Thank all you. the time. I read somewhere you do two a day. I mean, this is hard to believe anybody we, we would do have sometimes kind of 20 something a day yeah oh my gosh yeah. but personally do you you're traveling yes. you're, you're yes. going all over LA you know since the show has aired we've actually hired 17 new auctioneers so oh no God. longer are Danny and I having to hit you know 10 auctions a day sometimes I would hit seven and he would hit 13 I'd say you you go handle the, the hard part <laughs> I'll say a little local wow. but guaranteed with all the other auctioneers that we've hired Danny and I are getting a little break plus we're getting a chance to work together we're not driving 250 miles each separately a day, and mm -hmm. it's really crazy. We do a lot of driving, and right now um, I'm learning a lot from the master now, here. So, <laughs> is it true that you taught her the fast talking ways? Well, you know, I think Laura was kind of a fast talker before I met her. But, uh, you know, as far as the auction chant, yeah, I taught her how to do that, and she yes. she does good. We come from a, a long line lineage of auctioneers, so yeah. you know. All auctioneers are individual and we all sound a little bit different, but you can hear an auctioneer and you can tell where they learned it from. You know, it's yeah. kind of funny now, how that works. you started at 11. I did. <laughs> 1974, way before you were born there, lady. What, what did you auction off in 1974? Uh, you know, um, I, I would go to my grandfather's house in northwest Arkansas, Sam Fancher, and I would do that every summer. And I did it like 8, 9, 10, 11 years old in 74. I said, Grandpa, I want to be like you. I want to do this stuff. And wow. three weeks later, I was up on top of a of a trunk selling a desk and my grandfather introduced me and I got up there all confident and everybody got quiet and nothing came out of my mouth and he got a little frustrated with me <laughs> and I realized right then and there that if I didn't pull the switch and do it I was never going to do it so yeah. you know I've never really looked back. What, um, is, what is the craziest thing you've ever found in a unit? Oh. You mean besides bodies right. and stuff like that? <laughs> Have you found bodies in a unit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, let's break it down a second. A yeah. unit a storage yes. unit. A storage right. unit. Yeah. Storage okay. unit. Yes. Storage unit. Yes. Yeah, you know, it's wow. happened. Um, some people wow. think that's a really good place to stash people, yeah. and wow. it's really or, not, unless you know, you're going to pay your bill. Yeah, yeah, these, <laughs> I'm serious. These lockers go, you rent these lockers, and then they either are abandoned or they forget to pay their bill, or a credit card changes. Uh -huh. Or, or somebody else was in charge of paying jail. their stuff, and they like didn't. Like wow. celebrities, you know, for instance. There's, why you think, they've got money, why aren't they paying their bill? It's because their assistant might have put it in there, wow. they didn't know it, the credit card expired, the next thing you know, Oh my gosh, their stuff is being sold. They had a handler or a so manager or an assistant. Was this a hobby of yours that you went around to different storage units? And then <laughs> yeah, thought, yeah it, was, it, was, it was a hobby that I decided, you know, I needed to make a living and feed my family. So, um, <laughs> yeah. you know, I started doing this self-storage in 85. We started our company in 83, American Auctioneers. And, you know, I just was an auctioneer and I wanted stuff to sell and self-storage was blooming at that time. Yeah. And, and I thought, well, that's a good thing. A lot of the auctioneers that were selling horses mm -hmm. and equipment yes. and vehicles and that kind of stuff they they kind of look you know down their nose at me yeah. because I was just a self storage but auctioneer that, no, but now we're you know we're one of the biggest <laughs> yeah, we got yeah, a little TV show now. out of it so <laughs> it, it kind of worked yeah. out. Have the prices gone up a lot for units now that the show's on the air you and know, it's so popular? It seems it's like five or six years ago the average mm -hmm. unit was like a hundred and a quarter, hundred and a half. It was right. a very small uh, amount of people that knew about these auctions. The owners of the self storage industry had no desire to uh, let people know hey we not only store your stuff but if you don't pay we're gonna sell your stuff and they didn't want to talk about that so it was kind of difficult uh, loosening up this industry with our cameras and that's how we started doing this is yeah. just putting them on YouTube and ABC yeah. and NBC and KCT, KCT all uh, picked up thrift yeah. economy yeah, I stories. I can't believe how yeah. you made it so interesting because storage wars you yeah. would yes. think uh -huh. but you it know, is so well, it's, 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 so it's Tom Beers. Tom Beers, <laughs> Tom Beers is a guy that guru. makes things interesting. Yeah. He can go to uh, Ice Road Truckers no. and make that interesting. Yeah, you catch. also Crab make guys. it interesting with yeah. your rant so can you give us a little bit of this auctioneer chant right now? All right, all right, right. here we go, number 20, what are you going to pay? How much, how much, how much, how much, how much, how much, 30, 40, 50, 60, you got to go get one, so that's the way, everyday woman, got it for 50 big bucks right there. That's right. Very, very good. Stay tuned, thank you so much for being here. More Every Way Woman will be right back. Oh, that was so much fun. Thank you, thank you.